2017 will be known as the year we built on our success. New businesses and families are discovering that Blue Springs is a great place to live, work, and play. New homes can be found throughout Blue Springs in both new developments and open parcels in established neighborhoods. In 2017, Blue Springs welcomed 172 new single-family homes and 56 multifamily units. There are currently 190 active building permits with more homes slated for construction in 2018. To meet the needs of our growing community, more and more businesses are calling Blue Springs home. One of the many new businesses to call Blue Springs home is the new St. Luke Specialty Clinic located at the corner of Adams Dairy Parkway and R. D. Mize Road. This beautiful two-story, 36,000-square-foot facility opened to the public in July 2017. This new clinic offers multiple services under one roof, including urgent care, lab imaging, 3D mammography, and primary and specialty care physicians. In 2017, a number of new businesses opened their doors in Blue Springs, including new restaurants. and retail and service businesses. Examples of businesses reinvesting in our community can be found throughout Blue Springs. Downtown Blue Springs is a prime example of both reinvestment and growth. Over the past year, Downtown Blue Springs has continued to experience investments and reinvestment. Hi, I'm Cindy Miller with Blue Springs Downtown Alive. 2017 was an amazing year for downtown. The corridor welcomed several new businesses including The Hideout, Alchemy on Main, Revamped, K&M Tactical, and data pros. In 2018, Dwellings by Design KC will add eight new homes to the downtown corridor, allowing residents to access downtown amenities within walking distance. This spring, we will welcome Blue Springs first hometown brewery and taproom, East 40 Brewing. We recently unveiled our designs for the new downtown Blue Springs gateway. This beautiful gateway will help identify our downtown district and give visitors a sense of place and arrival. The first gateway will be placed on Main Street facing the Highway 7 intersection. A second gateway is planned and will be placed on Main Street facing the 15th Street intersection. We are currently raising private donations to fund and construct the gateway. For more information about the gateway or to donate, please visit our website at www.downtownbluesprings.com. Reinvestment in Blue Springs can also be seen throughout the Blue Springs community. Friendship Manor a 62 and older senior community, is undergoing a major reinvestment project. Construction will be completed in 2018 and include a full interior and exterior renovations, a new primary entrance, and a new community room. This project will reinvest over $4.6 million into the downtown corridor. One of the most exciting development stories in Blue Springs is the redevelopment of the White Oak Marketplace. In 2016, demolition began on the exterior of what was known as the White Oak Plaza. This area has long been identified by residents as a potential space for redevelopment. Construction began on the new 85,000 square foot Costantino's Price Chopper with a 6,000 square foot attached retail space. On October 4th, Costantino's cut the ribbon on this beautiful addition to the Blue Springs community. Immediately after the ceremony, a second ribbon cutting was held for the new St. Luke's Urgent Care Facility, located inside of the new Price Chopper. The White Oak Marketplace is also home to Johnny's Tavern, known for serving up tradition, with its world-famous hamburgers for sports fans and families, and to Pacific Dental Services. The White Oak Marketplace project represents well over $17 million of reinvestment into the Highway 7 and 40 corridor. Hi, I'm Mark Stombaugh, the city's economic development manager. It really doesn't seem like it's been a whole year since you all helped welcome me to the community, but it's been an exciting year. 
Uh, many of you are, should be thanked for your efforts and support of growth in the community. You know, during 2017, our Economic Development Council, the advisory group for our efforts, had an opportunity to reevaluate the vision, the direction, and the objectives of our community's economic development goals. Through these efforts, the Council developed strategic objectives with specific action items to help us reach these primary new job and capital investment targets over the next five years. By using the action items identified in the strategic plan, we are continually focused on supporting our existing businesses with any technical resources and working through any exciting growth opportunities they may have. We are also focused on outreach to those potential businesses and investors that might be considering the Blue Springs community. All of these projects represent significant, unique opportunities that we work very hard to make the case that Blue Springs is the location for long-term business success. We are very excited to see some of these projects and other commercial and retail developments come to fruition over the course of this year. Working with the Economic Development Council, Chamber Leadership, Mayor Ross, and our City Council leaders, and you all as partners, it's real easy to see that economic development is a team sport. So thank you all for your assistance. I'm really glad to be on such a great team. I'm going to let Mayor Ross introduce some of our growing community team and some of the exciting things that we've been up to. 2017 will be remembered as a year of substantial reinvestment and growth here in Blue Springs. And there's more to look forward to in 2018.